Welcome, this is Treyas. Just going to do a quick tutorial video. I did one for Madden 22 and it's a pretty similar in Madden 23. Just wanted to make it uh, for uh, people that don't know how to add custom rosters and custom draft classes and so on in Madden 23. It's super simple. Basically, you go over here to the NFL symbol, click on it and down here you will find the option share and manage files. Uh, and in the tab download community files. Uh, you just click that depending on your internet connection it will load quicker or slower at the moment might be a bit slow here with me so i might be speeding this up or just cutting it but uh, there we go this is uh basically all of the community files that have been done by uh, yeah just players in the community uh there's the option for draft classes which i personally think is awesome most of these files are really very good um, if you're unsure which one to pick, you just uh, go over here. You can sort by number of downloads. Um, for instance, <clears throat> this, this is the uh, highest ranked downloaded um, NFL draft file. Um, I have downloaded this one, used this one once for a, uh, for a rebuild. I'm gonna be downloading this one now. What you do is just you click on select, download file, and that's basically all you need to do. Sometimes it doesn't really work as well. Sometimes it just uh, sort of stops and gives you an error message. But I think this one here went through quite cleanly. You need to wait until you get the uh, confirmation that the file has been downloaded and then you reset to your uh, basic screen here. Um, if you already have a file downloaded, um, you can still download a newer version of that file. Uh, it will prompt you to say, uh, save it as a new file or, or, or overwrite. I'm going to say overwrite just to show you what will happen. Um, and basically it does the same thing. It overwrites uh, the file that you can then use in the game. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. When you, when you start a new franchise, it asks you if you want to use a rookie class, then you can just use that. Um, there's uh, loads of, of uh, classes in here. Uh, some of the creators I do recognize from Madden 22, such as Falcons, ATL. Um, some are new creators and that is awesome. I really, really think this is a great option. And the same goes for rosters. I'm not sure if there are new rosters in here at the moment because currently uh, Madden has a very um, up-to-date roster. Um, but uh, there is also interesting rosters that you can use to play around with. Um, there's, uh, I don't know, a 2010 decade roster uh, where you can just go back and simulate or legends or whatever. So, uh, yeah, people do all kinds of crazy stuff here. Um, I use the rosters uh, towards the end of the season because Madden stops updating them. And uh, yeah, so then you can get that here. Same goes for offensive playbooks, defensive playbooks, CPU sliders, player sliders. But that's basically how you do that. Um, if you want to check uh, if uh, your your uh, roster has been loaded, if you, uh, for instance, download a roster file, uh, you also have to load the file. Um, so you just uh, select the category. At the moment, I only have the official one. But uh, for instance, uh, the um, <clears throat> draft class is going to be over here. We've got the two files here. You load these within the franchise. And... Uh, if you uh, download a roster, maybe I'll do a separate uh, separate uh, tutorial on how to do that at a later date. Um, you can check this uh, uh, in edit rosters. You just go to manage players and then you can see which changes have been made, if all of the players are there and so on and so forth. So that's basically how you do that. Um, I love the feature. I think it's brilliant. I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody out there that's doing videos because I think they're awesome. Um, I want a huge shout out to everybody doing these files because that is awesome work and so much appreciated. Well done. Keep up the good work. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you've got questions, just drop them in the comments. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please drop a like. That means a lot to me. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.